Hey beauties, good morning to you. So I was reading um, something online, the Jamaica Gleaner online, as it relates to the reparations. And uh, I know Judge uh, Robinson, that I think that's the father of Julian Robinson, I know, was speaking in relation to this. Not just fair, just recently, but I know that he was speaking on it. Sometime, was it early this year or last? I think it was sometime last year. Notwithstanding, um, Britain is required to pay 14 countries $24 trillion, of which $9.5 trillion should come to Jamaica. And I began <laughs> to think, honestly, do you see that the $9.5 trillion there? All right, let me break down something to us. I mean, I did a little quick, I'm not good at math either, but I did a quick calculation. So it would be $9.5 trillion over 3 million of us. And the 3 million would encompass homeless people, insane people, babies, just, but I mean, you understand the vulnerable and so on the not so vulnerable everyone it included and if we were to split that 9.5 trillion dollars to every jamaican barring none each person would get nearly 3.2 million dollars you know that's a i mean i don't even know how to describe that you know that's a that's 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 some serious money we're talking about and i said to myself all right some people are not necessarily good stewards of money ah I know people are going to talk about the infrastructure, the schools, the this, the that, and the other. Please know that they have funds to deal with that. In other words, if they even didn't get reparations, they have monies coming all left, right, and center to deal with all of the infrastructure, the educational system, the healthcare system, paying people properly, and all of that. All right. So in other words, we don't we, we can't we just really bank and put our food the pot on the fire to say that the reparations money will suffice or clear this and that. And I said to myself, so each Jamaican would include babies, the vulnerable, as I said, everyone. You might not necessarily do that, give all the Jamaican people. You know what I would want? That they get all of our bank accounts and ensure that, you know, at least one to 1.5 million is placed in everybody's account. One to 1.5 million dollars in everybody's account every well for all the jamaicans who have it whether them they're squanderers whether they're 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 thrifty with their money or not give it to them at least give people a chance you know give them a chance you know to wreck themselves or to do better with themselves give them a chance at least you can say that you safely said that i helped the person once don't worry about the aftermath don't worry about the outcome and uh, you know keep the rest put some on an investment and then see what um, improvements. We know we have a whole heap of sectors to be improved. A whole heap of sectors. So everybody benefits. Everybody benefits. Because people are struggling. Give people a chance for even if it is a short stint to be able to buy some good food, good clothes, find somewhere to live. Even if it is for a short stint. That is how I many really want some of the government officials get that the money in its entirety. Because I know the Jamaican people them would have never get a dollar, not a quarter, not a pence, no farmer money, whichever country the money comes from. We would not get a dollar. I know Mr. Robinson was saying, don't give the people, because I understand where he was coming from, but I disagree with him slightly. This was earlier days. I don't know if he said it in fairly recent times. Because basically, you know, people are squanderers. They are, they're not good stewards and whatnot. You can't control that. That's not for you to do that. You know, we can't police people like this, like we're God. We're talking about nearly 3 million people. And I'm including everybody. Whether you're a baby, you're homeless, you're whatever it is. Fine. You cannot police everything. We have to deal with our own little space. You still have to give people the benefit of the doubt. Give people a chance. At least let it go on record that we tried this. And the people still, it's a one. Then you will know that, okay, we can't really try this again. It didn't work. But create a balance. Give every Jamaican, you know, a, like a 1 to 1.5 million. This is me speaking, by the way. Invest, because, you know, invest some of the money and use some of it to help to improve the, whether it's a healthcare system, the education system, the roads, and so on. We know the different things, the water, the whatever, whatever it is. They know the different ills that we're facing and the different defects. And create that balance. It's about balance. The people are important. Invest in people. The country too mean. The powers that be too mean. Nobody never get back at sin from the country yet. Look at other countries in the world. Look at um, the United States of America. At least they have the stimulus, what do you call it, the stimulus package. Whether you're employed or you're not employed, you can, you know, 
uh, put in your thing for that and get it. At least in case I then get back some money year after year, which supersede that the million day. Why Jamaicans can't get it? So wait, we're not human beings so We're not somebody too. I don't want to submit to the argument solely on the basis of poor stewardship that most people will squat. Well, if I saw a son of you, we're not God. We don't need to police people in that sense. If the waste that is on them, it's their disadvantage. Because money will always be around. Whether you are here, I am here, and it will go round and round until Jesus comes back. Whether it's money in the form of cash or the card or kind or whatever it is. But give the people a chance. Let them say, well, at least one time the country gave back to them. They paid taxes. Most people, if we were to get back all the monies that we have paid in taxes in different form. Let me tell you something. Most of us could probably buy a house up um, Cherry Gardens. We could buy a house up Norbrook easy with cash. With cash. So I pray in Jesus' name that if we are to really get that 9.5 trillion, that every Jamaican get at least 1.5 out of it. Every Jamaica. I could have even the baby, but the mother and the father them deal with it. I could have the dog, the cat, the puss or the rat. And you know, I'm using hyperbole to say everybody. Everybody give them a chance with with chance whether they are squanderers, they are not good stewards. Because some people, most people you think are good stewards are not necessarily. You think the country is being stewarded properly? So when you're cursing the right, the, the ordinary man to say this and to say that, it's enough money. It's enough money to give back to the people, because it's our four parents as well. Because as far as I know, I'm not white. I am not a white woman. Whether I become whether little white blood in me or yes or no, I'm a black full fledged black woman so a lot of my ancestors face the horrendous the the, the uh, what what i don't even know the words that even come into me right now the horrible the horrid um effects of slavery so they're dead and gone so we can benefit <laughs> until we we're going to be extinct extinct sorry one day we're going to be extinct one day so let us go and enjoy the one life where we have give back to the people at least one to 1.5 billion dollars give back especially taxpayers you know if you pay a tax you deserve 1.5 at least maybe others are one not discrediting you but you know fear is fair and then use some invest some i mean i don't even know do that and then use some to three ways to fix up the country in different ways because money is not it's not only reparations that we'd be getting in terms of money all teeth in money fund you know how we call it the scammer money when you find the scammer money and teeth and whatnot you know all have a fun for that eh for showing how money all coming from left right center up down all around 9.5 trillion make the jamaican people for a change can't say why make get a good money from the government and when i say government not necessarily who is necessarily in government right now whether it's the glp or it was it's a pnp or other parties because there's not the, they're not the only ones but i use those two major political parties because for some reason jamaicans seeming to not come off them you have uic you have a, um, another one ddp some others give the jamaican people some money as i said whether if they squander that's on them if they squander it because you have your families i'm sure when you have your children not every time they're going to be good stewards of whatever you give to them. They have to understand they have their humans. You know, we're going to do the good, we're going to do the bad. It's just that we have to try and mitigate the bad. So, but at least let them cannot go down. So at least one time in how many years on this planet thus far, the government of Jamaica, the present government of Jamaica, and as I said, whoever is in, gave or gave us one million one point five million dollars and that's not a lot of money because when you do the exchange rate in pound how much is that in pound bit my boss is six thousand pound because in terms of us it is about seven seven nearly eight thousand us or six thousand change pounds sterling six thousand yeah so it's not like it's a grandiose amount that is for one million one point five maybe seven uh, six point five or so pound you know yeah man we have for once to go for the Jamaican people, just split it, split it. If they squander, that's on them. But you, you may have the chance. You may have the, 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 the case where they, are in, they invest it and the country still benefits again. If it's even a portion. But boy, I really don't want some of the politicians get it. God no, me not telling a lie. With what I've seen going on for the last so many years, mm -mm, me pray God work out something we can get. Guys, follow me on TikTok.
subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please share this message.